Hello, hello. It is. Uh, see my beautiful face. <laughs> it is December 18th, 2023. It's uh, 5.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to drop off Christmas sales at UPS. But, 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 uh, I was just thinking and I figured I want to record something. So, good news. Although, I have a bunch of other videos that will be out before this. I don't know. I don't know how fast I'll release them. Maybe I'll release them based on like contests if you get a certain amount of likes or shares or, or whatever or views I'll release the videos more frequent than once a day but I cleaned out my office space I moved a bunch of junk I donated a bunch of uh, returns and stuff that have been sitting around I moved my firearms around so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this week to set up the recording stuff and start recording daily if not more than daily in a studio atmosphere so you won't have to hear my windshield wipers you're gonna miss the car you're gonna miss these times when it's big and professional trust me the ideas will still be there though and you have to stare at me in 4k un under lighting but anyways I was thinking, so, for lack of a better term, I, I just use the term philosopher, right, for myself. If you want to label me, if you need a label, I like the term philosopher. Just the love of wisdom and truth, philosophy, the love of the wisdoms, the wisdoms, but... In the everyday vernacular, and I wouldn't, and, and I'll, I'll go into depth once these questions start arising and coming up. But for all for labels of the current situation, I fall within the vegan category, uh, although it's more than that. Where I try my best to reduce the harm. To other life meaning I don't buy leather products or glues or anything that's animal products uh, I don't buy household items that are tested on animals I don't eat meats or dairy or anything like that I try to locally source the best that I can so that it doesn't go through big agriculture I am driving a car right now so I know that there's critters and stuff that are in the way, but I, I do my best. Uh, I've been I've been like this since 2015. It's a philosophical choice, not an emotional choice. But I'm not going to dive into the, the the reason and evidence log right now. Argument. I just I I just see from both sides because most people that call themselves vegan are democratic lefties on the left and it's become crazy to me that how contrarian and political everybody is that most people are like they're posting meat memes just to be contrarian to like PETA I'm not PETA is, doesn't represent most vegans by the way if you be, it's similar to like if you're an atheist you wouldn't say that atheist.org has is for you and if you would you've just joined another religion so PETA is just the animal rights organization it's not you know you don't become vegan you don't join PETA to become vegan it's like say you know you can be libertarian and not join the libertarian party you can play baseball without being in the MLB. You know, you don't have to join an organization to enjoy stuff. Uh, but what what's interesting to me is how 
you know, as an outsider, as somebody that mostly talks to conservatives and libertarians, you know, I, I assume, I don't know how many lefties interact with me online. But it's, it's so interesting to watch people that aren't vegan get triggered by vegans and vice versa. But my, my alliance on this one does lie with the vegans because their stance is that they at least say, well, they believe it's murder. So murder is pretty triggering to watch stuff get murdered. But to watch vegan people be vegan and to watch a whole counterculture of, well, I'm eating meat, I'm eating extra meat, I'm making meat memes. It's like, you're just triggered by vegan, so you're, you've, you've become the soy boy. You've become the soy boy you hated all along. So it's funny for me to watch a counterculture, like you're an anti-culture. You've become pro-meat, but you're not pro-meat. You're just anti-vegan because you're contrarian. It's not a critical thinking thing. So whether you obey or disobey, you're still being controlled. So when people are saying disobey the government, it's like, well, no. Because broken clocks are right. So go through the argument, critical think, use reason and evidence and logic to state an argument and see if the concepts are valid and follow valid concepts and stop following invalid concepts and have core principles. If you're disobeying or obeying, you're still being mind controlled. It's just to a contrarian point. So, you know, when people get frustrated by words, they're being triggered, they're being Manchurian candidated because it, you can say a word and it, it pisses them off and it's vice versa. It's the same thing. The right is guilty as left. What, the one thing that I, I try to explain and it just people can't wrap their heads around it um, from a, and I had, and close friends of mine that I, that I talk to can't wrap their head around this. When I make the argument, I say, well, you're pro-life, correct? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, but you're not really pro-life because you're not, you're eating animals. And they're like, whoa, well, I, I don't believe in abortion. Okay, well, you don't believe in abortion. That doesn't mean you're pro-life because whatever. And then vice versa, when people say they're pro-choice, they said, okay, well, you're a vegan and you're pro-choice. Well, then people should have the right to choose what they put in their body, which would be me. So you're not pro-choice either. You're pro-abortion. So, I don't understand uh, pro-life omnivore slash com. Uh, most people aren't carnivores, but but I don't understand pro-life omnivores, and I don't understand pro-choice vegans. I'm a pro-life vegan if you want to put labels if we want to do labels I believe in and to the extent where I, and I don't even bring this up because people think that I'm crazy there's certain plants that I don't eat and there's more plants that I probably wouldn't eat if I had more data but I need collective help for it and it's really difficult to, I mean to even get people to, to think that life is precious and figure this stuff out with you um, so when you're within a cage, I understand that when you're in a cage, it's like you're, you're subject to what you're, the person who's imprisoning you do. So there's only so far you can go and you can do the best that you can from within that cage. I think if you're at least doing that, you're headed in the right direction of betterment of society. Or you can say, well, I'm in a cage, I can't do anything, which is like, well, then you're always just going to be a cage and it's going to get worse. And uh, your captors are just going to push you further and further into a cage and take more away from you. This has got to be a short, short video because um, I'm almost at my destination. But I would just say, like, sit down with yourself today. If you're pro-choice, but 
you're also vegan, then, like, you don't believe that that's a life in your body? So how vegan are you? Like, is it just animals? Do you squash bugs? Do you kill bacteria that's not attacking you? I mean, our whole body is this beautiful ecosystem. This is how, this is how I would explain it to you. And I gotta do a longer video on this because like I said, I'm learning less than a minute here. Your whole body is not just you. It's a community. You, you, you think of yourself as you, as independent. But you have mites in your eyes, you have bacteria in the, your skin flora, your stomach flora, you have this bacteria um, that moves through you. And all these animals throughout your body, all these life forms on top of you, there's this community, this community and this ecosystem that's running. And that's what makes you you. So if you can understand that, if you can understand that you're, you have, uh, that you're, at, you're healthiest when you have good probiotics and bacteria and healthy skin flora and healthy mites in your eyes and, you know, and you have, you have that and you're, you have the proper nutrients and I, again, I don't, I'm not going to get, you know, she like you got nutrients and stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to have to get, I don't want to go too deep. If you can understand that and just extrapolate out and think about how the world might look in a place where we treated all the surrounding life like that in a situation where it's a, it's an ecosystem with one another. And the ones that are attacking you, like if you're getting attacked, I, a virus isn't technically like a life form. It's like a RNA strand, but it still almost acts like a life. So if you're being attacked by uh, a virus, it's not necessarily innate. It needs a ho it needs hosts. But if you're being attacked by that, you can defend yourself. So if you you can you can still defend yourself in a particular world and the animals could defend themselves and you can defend yourself from animals and, and such but the idea is people just i mean it's 2023 how do you even set your car alarm off and then not know how to turn it off <sighs> namaste okay so so once you understand that you're not an individual that you're an ecosystem branch that ecosystem off from what you can control and then eventually if two people understand their ecosystems and they're branching off the control they can control their current ecosystem together two people three people four people five people if we branched outward with a principle that all life has self-ownership and uh and wants to live then we can figure out a a healthier a healthier society and the way that life that doesn't value life communicates with you is through initiation of violence towards you to kill you so there could be life forms that don't value life that's fine that's their choice but then we could you know defend our defend your life against theirs because they're not valuing your life and they do that for communication and people are like well can't communicate with a dog you can't communicate with bears you can't yeah but you also not communicating with an attacker with a gun so when he she's not like you know like a, if an attacker points a gun at you that's enough communication for you to know that he doesn't value your life he doesn't have to say you know pull a gun and say i don't participate in the non-aggression principle i am about to uh initiate force against you and let's communicate you know, it's th there's non-verbal communication that happens all the time. And people play stupid when it's non-human centric. The, the communication between different life forms, but it goes on all the time um, where things are communicating. And I've been saying this for over a decade now, being made fun of, but as, as it always does, science is starting to catch up with the philosophy. People are looking at plants and fungi and looking at the communication between 
uh, animals, plants, ecosystems, and starting to realize that uh, there's a complex web of communication that they they claim is inferior, but doesn't just because you don't speak a language doesn't mean that it's necessarily inferior. It's just a different it's just a different language. So, all right. So back to what I was saying is. Maybe do some soul searching today. I'm not asking anybody to, to be a vegan. I'm just saying, sit for a second and be empathetic or sympathetic to other people if you've made some changes in your life. So if you are a vegan, but you're pro-choice, ask yourself, why a life form growing in a body um, that's potential life doesn't consider life to you that you want to protect is it a selfishness is it a, 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 a you know non-accountability things what is it and if you call yourself pro-life and when it comes to um, human human birth and conception then ask yourself why it's human centric that a potential human life cell is important but other life that you can't replicate like bacteria animals plants that we can't create why is that in why why is that not as valuable it's all life that's being created that is part of this ecosystem that balances one another and like i said you need the mites in your eyes and the bacteria and the flora and all that stuff just like most of the other parts of the ecosystem work together. And maybe some of it doesn't need to be here because it was born from a place of not protecting life. But so maybe some of it's, uh, and maybe some of it disappeared that needed to be here because we should have been protecting life, value in life. Um, and because similar to how an individual evolves by outside forces the whole environment and the ecosystem also evolves alongside one another in different directions over over time because um, i don't understand it it, it seems it, it seems counterintuitive to me not, not counterintuitive it seems hypocritical to me to be a pro-choice vegan or to be a, a omnivore whatever and call yourself pro-life so then just be honest maybe you want to start calling yourself uh anti-abortion or pro-abortion because that's truly what you are and maybe that's the point of those political words is to tangle everything up without any um rhyme or reason reason and evidence without a core principle so that it is an ongoing argument because you can create these false dichotomies and when you create a false dichotomy, it'll always end in a battle of division because there is no, um, a, you know, I don't want to say objective truth because I get a whole thing about truth. I don't think you can find truth, but there is no um, current theory, objective theory of uh, a valid concept that we can understand at the time when you have two, a false dichotomy being created um, I don't even know if it's called that. It's just like a hypocritical dichotomy where you're splitting these two things up that look like core principles, but they're not core principles. The, the, the principles themselves are contradictory. And then you take two contradictory points and you put them against one another. So you can't come to a conclusion because you're both arguing from an invalid concept. All right, some stuff I wanted to get off my my mind, my, my mind. So I hope everybody's doing well. This will probably come out, who knows. All right, take care.